I'm cutting hay in an eye of a hurricane. Uh, basically, we had some rains the, uh, last Saturday, and uh, it was fortunate we didn't get too much. We had about two inches of rain, maybe three here, uh, different areas, some places. Uh, we're in southern Illinois, and uh, I uh, sell Alpharex, uh, alfalfa seed, and I also sell Alpharex, uh, I bred uh, sedan grass. Uh, for those that follow my uh, YouTube videos, uh, we plant it out here with the uh, Kenzie planter in 15 inch rows with the air delivery system. And what we did is we planted straight and then I planted at an angle on it. And that just about got me about uh, a full bag per acre is what we sowed here. Um, I cut mine earlier and it was looking like rain and I'm over here cutting this for the, the person I sold it to and uh, because he don't have a conditioner and I feel he really needs to have a conditioner. Uh, he wants to bale this dry and it got a little bit higher. I baled mine dry but I cut it about right here in with hay. Um, there ain't no other hay in here. This was a hay field. And, after he cut and bailed up a couple days in July, it just all died off and there was nothing there. And I said, you going to need feed. I got this stuff and, and this is what he did. He, he got it from me and I sold it for him. And I'm cutting it because I need to get it conditioned so it can dry. Uh, so basically, uh, this was planted, what, about 30th, of, last, last couple days in July. And what is it today? September the uh, 10th. September the 10th. Um, and we had, you know, some other rains. Uh, right now it's supposed to be dry until Thursday, so I hope that he can get it up. I'm cutting the rest of my hay as well. Uh, like I said, this is Alpharex hybrid uh, sedan grass. It's a hay type. It's what they call the hay king. And it's a mid rib, a brown mid rib. And uh, anyhow, uh, it really puts out quite a bit of stuff. But when you get big like this, uh, it needs to be conditioned. And that's what the conditioning rollers do in my hay bind. And he doesn't have that. Uh, so he's planning on maybe ba round baling this uh, Thursday if uh, nature gives him that chance uh, being on it. So I, I just like to, you know, looks pretty darn good. And uh, I know there's a lot of people out there it's, uh, that's fighting the weather. Uh, some people ain't got their first cutting hay put up. Um, I'm working on my third cutting right now. Some people have got fourth and fifth around here. Um, but, you know, if the weather keeps raining, a lot of reasons that I got only third is uh, some of the other people play, making baleage or, or haleage where they chop the whole works and put it in a bag or the silo and are they wet wrap it and uh, this would be a good option to wet wrap as well and uh, the weather has a lot of intakes and and um, and what have you but it's obvious that this does good he did put some nitrogen fertilizer down for this and uh, it really took off and so this is what the Kenzie planter did uh, with the uh, with the Milo plates in it, and I, I set it on the highest rocket I had and went over it twice. Um, one of the other important things that we're cutting this stuff high, come on in, Lisa, here. Uh, we want to cut it high enough so we can leave a leaf on the stalk, about four to five inches. So we have that four to five inches stand here with the leaf on it. So this will come back out. One of the things I think he's going to do is after he gets it baled and grows out, he might get another cutting. And if it grows out again, he, he's probably going to put a wire around it and pasture the cows out here in the wintertime. So that's, uh, that's his plan. So weather can be an issue. Uh, I was talking to uh, a friend of mine, Wes, that has a, web a website, One Lonely Farmer. He's got a crone baler. I got a hold of him because we could talk crone balers and, and farming and hay. And so we kind of network back and forth. And uh, he's got 
a lot of water coming down and rain and hurricane in there but we're kind of in the eye here so we take advantage of this uh, thing and that's why we're kind of calling the eye of the hurricane for us out here anyhow of course everybody knows the eye of the hurricanes in the center of it but we're just kind of in between hurricanes here and it pushes wet, uh, wet weather up here so we're lucky we had no damage of anything we're able to do this uh, right now and um, uh, it, it gives you a good idea what this could be um, another thing if you everybody's wondering you know about this crazy weather and earthquakes and stuff and and I don't know exactly about the earthquakes but the weather in general uh, we've got a fortune a nice blue sky and everything looks kind of normal here but geoengineering is an issue so uh, look up geoengineering watch for you people who don't know what I'm talking about check it out on uh, on that uh, Dane Wigington writes this up and if you got issues these hurricanes and stuff you need to watch these really close um, and the weather in general here uh, climate change is there for real and we all need to look into it and take a serious uh, look in it um, so please look that up and take your time to digest it it take, took a long time before I realized they was actually uh, spraying chemicals in the air to control the weather. So, you know, lumen is a major problem for Alzheimer's and everything else. It's uh, coming down, it hurts the soil. Um, it could be hurting some of the crops that ain't, uh, that isn't resistant to lumen. And, you know, once we get enough of it out, there ain't nothing re resistant to it. So, um, Alzheimer's is one of the uh, major illnesses caused by it and please look it up take your time investigate it and uh, Dane Wigington has got a lot of credible information there background and backed it up and I backed up that he's for a real guy and this is really happening and I've seen it hard to believe it takes a long time so please look up on his website and I appreciate anybody that's been buying my uh, uh, hi, hi, my hay and, and all the other stuff that they've uh, been doing with me. So I'm out here trying to protect you so you have the knowledge on this. So take the knowledge and spread the word. Thank you.